Hi, welcome back to the Jiu-Jitsu World Championships. It's the final of the under 77 kilo category between Jan Henningsen in white from Denmark against Didier César from France in the red. Two men start at a distance and then it's into the karate light moves. Good kick there. Was Ari scored by Denmark? But uh, the Frenchman, César, settles in round from behind, but the action goes off the mat, so the action stops. Uh, stops. So Denmark opens the scoring with a good kick to the side of the body. Kicks have to be landed, uh, kicks and blows have to be landed under control. And if they land full on target, under control, speed and power, then they get a nip on. If they're partially deflected, or well, not quite there, They'll score less than that was Ari, so two points for an on there. There's a nice big uh, ip on there given by the mat referee for that uh, that big pickup and knock down. And Cesar looking for an attack from behind, but blocked off by Henningsen from Denmark. So the Frenchman piling on the attacks, Danish uh, fighter. Backing off and looking for counter strikes. So there's uh, Wazari scored by France, and then a Wazari by Denmark punch. So it's uh, they're trading points here. Both fighters, Denmark, France, then Denmark and France again. And. Back to the action there. Once the blows stop, it's into the grappling moves. No particular restrictions on grips here, unlike the judo. So it's very close and nothing there. But it's on the edge of the mat, it's in the danger area. So the referee stands them up. So these matches fought in two bouts of two minutes, one minute break in between. Well, Denmark, uh, Danish guy, Henningsen, backing off, but certainly getting some scores in there, as César from France piles in hard. And... Well, that's it. The There's the final score. No, sorry, not the final score. That was just the end of the first round. And uh, back into the second round. Opening score there by Denmark was Ari. And César trying to drop into the ground. Uh, but the Denmark, uh, the Dane settling in on top. Looking for the outside commie. Oh, his leg trapped down. The referee stands them up. Well, we've seen the, uh, the Frenchman piling on the pressure, moving forward all the time, and the Dane backing off, but getting his scores in. There's a nice kick from the Dane there as the Frenchman piles forward. So that was uh, a roundhouse kick, Mawashigeri from the Dane. Well, there you see the final score, 19 to 10. Denmark takes the gold in the under 77 kilo category. And Bronzes went to Van Riet of Netherlands and Valerino of Uruguay. And there we see that great vine. Dane, Dane locking his legs around, great vining around the leg. But nothing much comes of that, although the score goes to the Frenchman as he knocks him to the ground. And now on to the final of the men's under 85 kilo category between Hans of Netherlands in the red and Bevch of Slovenia in the white. Attempted a leg grab there by the Slovenian. And looking for some throws there. A bit loose. Those opening bouncy attacks. Not too strong. And into the grapple attacks. Looking for the arm lock there. Slovenian look, rolling over. He's got a position there. A strong position. He could take the arm though. But the referee stops them. Stands them up.
No uh, kicks or punches to the heads, head in this game. That will be a penalty. Although some of the hands get pretty close to the head by the look of it. It's the throat to the groin is the target area. Or the bottom of the throat to the groin. And they, as you can see, they wear gloves and protectors. Shin step protectors and groin protectors. And light gloves on the hand. Gloves that enable them to grab hold as well as to punch. A similar attacking pattern as before from the Slovenian. Now that's a nice, uh, almost had it there. Hans of the Netherlands almost managed to pick him up. Pushes him down there, tries to turn him over. And uh, Slovenian there, looks like he's settling in for an Osai Komi. That's an immobilization technique on the ground. He's just got to pin him there for as long as possible. That's uh, Hans of the Netherlands in trouble there. And I don't think he's going to get out of that one. Well and truly locked in a position. No, he got out. Well, it didn't look... Uh, well, obviously, it wasn't as strong as it looked. I thought uh, Beth, Peter Beth of Slovenia had that one, but not so. The Dutchman gets free. Well, that's the closing skirmishes there. And the Netherlands, in the shape of Rob Hans, takes the gold, silvers to Slovenia, this is the under-85 category, and bronzes to Grimaud of France and Carnaborn of Sweden. Now we go into the under-94 kilo category. It's between a Brazilian, Figueiredo, from Brazil in the red and Temal of France in the white. Well, let's see what these Brazilians can do. Of course, they come with a certain amount of reputation. Brazil, the home of Gracie Jiu Jitsu, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in general, got an awesome reputation, but the rules for Gracie are a bit different from this. A little bit of a blow there, a bit close. So some good exchange of kicks there. And the Tamal of France there, or rather Brazilian, dropping on his knees. Now, there was a bit of a kick to the stomach there in that mix-up, although I think uh, slightly exaggerated to me, that one. Let's watch that one again. Yeah, there's the kick. Well, hardish, yeah. Red gets it in the guts. That's the Brazilian. Gets kicked to the stomach. Now, will this be a disqualification? Looks to me like it's heading that way. So he's calling the disqualification. And it's the Brazilian who gets that one on the disqualification. And Timal does not look happy about that one. Well, it was a sort of hardish kick to the stomach there. I suppose it could have hurt a bit. But uh, maybe... Uh, Figueredo acted it up a bit, who can say, but Timal there, not liking this decision at all, doesn't want to leave the mat, not doing what he's told. Well, that heavy kick has lost him the gold medal in this World Jiu-Jitsu Championships. So let's see. No doubt he'll get over his um, acting there a bit. And that's it. The referee gives the gold to the Brazilian for that disqualification. That's the under-94 category. Bronzes went to Witzkowski of Germany and Zimolag of Poland. Well, there's that kick again. Didn't look too hard, did it? But who can say? I mean, it depends really how relaxed the body was when the kick landed. And now we go into the over-94 kilo category. This is between Zimolag of Poland in red and Figueiredo. Not the same one as before, of Brazil. Let's see how this one works. So takedown, opening takedown to Poland. One point for that. Poland in red. For those used to judo, the scoring can be slightly confusing. Not quite the same rules. 
Judo, of course, derived from uh, Jiu-Jitsu, derived from two schools of Jiu-Jitsu, the Kitoryu school and the Tenjin Shinyo school, 120 years ago, but since developed into a full-blown Olympic sport. Well, here, Jiu-Jitsu, very popular all over the world. And as we see, a mix of kicks, punches, blows, strangles, arm locks. Makes it less pure, one might say, than the pure kicking or the pure striking or the pure grappling uh, martial arts, but certainly useful for combat. So they're looking in for a strangle attack there. Now he's locked in tight over the top. That's White, the Brazilian. Nope, no score there. Simulag from Poland managing to resist that one. No score from that, uh, that particular clash. And there's a drop down to the ground by the pole, but uh, didn't really effectively take uh, the Brazilian down. Now the Brazilian settling in for a possible strangle attack here. He's locking both legs in tight. Now he can squeeze his partner out from this. And that counts as an Osai Komi in Jiu Jitsu. And there he's tapping out. Where well, the pole taps out from that one. Well, that is a little bit of a spine lock, that position. Not much of one, it has to be said. It's uncomfortable position, and of course, if you're breathing hard, it uh, doesn't help. But that's uh, the Brazilian there called the winner. So nine points to four. Amoaro de Figueiredo of uh, Brazil there, beating Darius Simulag from Poland in the heavyweight category. And bronzes went to Sergi of France, Jean-Jacques Sergi, and Parcel of the Netherlands. And in the duo games, we saw Denmark take two golds and Germany take one gold. So the medal distribution at the end of this was uh, in the individual events, we see uh, two golds going to France, two golds to Germany, two golds to the Netherlands, and two golds to Brazil, and one gold for Denmark and one gold for Austria. Overall, Denmark doing well with two golds in the duo, the pre-arranged sequent events. But uh, that uh, a real mix of uh, goals going to different parts of the world. Well, thank you for joining us. This is Sid Hall from Copenhagen. Bye for now and take care.